Hey, this is David Hilster, and I'm here to help you learn the necessary software for recording exactly what I'm doing right now is recording me and the screen because if these are the kinds of things that you're going to want to do as if you have your own YouTube channel and you want to do recordings daily or once a week, uh, usually it's got to be pretty frequent, at least, at least once a week, uh, but you need to know how to use so some software, how to record it. It's one thing to want to talk about stuff, but I want to maybe just talk with just my image. Maybe I want to talk about something I found on the internet and be able to show that at the same time. How do I record it? Where do I get the software? And I have no money for that. Well, guess what? Open Broadcaster Software at obsproject.com will get you there. Click on the download, and of course, it will go and use any of these three systems, either Windows, Apples, or even Linux. And um, now what I'm going to do is show you the software, what it looks like, the, the uh, actual application running. Excuse me. Uh, and here it is. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So you can see it here on the screen. And you can see sort of an infinite loop. What you're seeing here, I'm going to get rid of this. You're seeing here is this window. And this window that I'm moving around has a window within a window. In fact, if I um, uh, I won't get rid of it because then you're not going to see this screen because I'm using it to record about its own self. So I did a recording already, and you wonder maybe why I deleted it is because I stupidly got rid of something at the same time I was trying to talk about it, which doesn't work. So I can't really change too much. I can't change, pull away. But if you look at these two uh, um, things right here in the sources, you'll see video capture device and display capture. If I get rid of the video capture device, and I do here, and I uh, put a minus sign and get rid of that, it says you want to remove that. Now you won't see me. So you'll hear me, but you won't see me. Well, I can add that by putting a plus sign on the sources here. Do video capture. So let's create a new one. I can just say OK. And then it's going to give me some Sometimes you have several options on your computer. I'll, sh I'll pick the uh, uh, cam, and there it is. And of course, it's back. Now you notice it comes back in at one position in the size. I can change that any way I want with just by grabbing the corners and, or even moving it. So if I'm trying to do something with a, of a, with a website, for instance, I put this up here, and I want to do something with the website, uh, I will go ahead and change that uh, uh, by putting uh, this uh, website where I want and then moving this where, where I want. Again, the idea is you have to plan ahead. That is, if you have a website and you want to talk about it, I'm going to move this out of the way now. I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit something. You want to say, okay, this is the position I want. I'm a, I'm a little too big, so I'm going to move this over here. Um, you can uh, do it that way. You can even move partial off the screen if you want to do that and move yourself from frame over and you want to do something like that. So it, for instance, well, let's say I want to do something like a half screen. So here's my screen, and I've got one thing going on there, and I want to do a half a screen. This is too small, so I can actually enlarge it bigger than the screen itself. Um, and uh, you can see that happening. And the way I'm going to, I'm going to bring this over now so you can see what's going on here. And uh, this is what's happening. So if I have this here, and I want this to be uh, actually half the screen, I can do something like that. And um, you see it's partly off the screen. I can move even further off. And then you have to adjust in your frame. But you can put it anywhere. And also you can do the whole screen. Uh, you notice here, though, it isn't the whole screen that we have. So um, what, I will, uh, what I would do is to do something like change the uh, size of it. So if we look at the video capture and go to properties, we're going to see here that, in fact, I can change the uh, uh, default side to a custom size and uh, it will stay there until I pick something and let's do something like 12 uh, 80 let's see if I can get this smaller I think I can there we go I can do like 12 uh, 80 by 720 and then I've got this longer thing and you notice now it's a little bit it is a different size there you go. Now I'm going to show you how to do this uh, again. I'm going to make this smaller because I think uh, it's hard again to do this video and, and use itself to use itself. 
But what you do is you come down here and you you go to the video capture video capture device, and here you see that I can then choose a custom size to it. And then if I want to just do myself, I can make it as big as the screen and just go blah blah blah. Maybe this time I'm only going to talk without any graphics. But if I do talk with graphics, I have to do something like this. The other thing is too very important to remember: get everything not running on your screen. Everything should be down, no extra programs, anything, because this is recording the screen and at the same time you're working and trying to uh, do something else, perhaps even show something on the website. If you have a page with lots of stuff that you expect it to record everything, if your machine is really a super new machine, PC or a Mac, and can handle it, then it'll be okay. But if it can't, you're going to have to shut everything down that you don't need and then plan. So you just have to plan where things are, make sure. And then of course you want to make sure you have all the things set up. Uh, the audio as you see is down here. The audio, how you can do that is there's a mixer. So the audio mixer, you can choose from where you want to get it. In this case, in case I'm using it from the webcam itself, which has got a really good microphone on it. So I can do that. If I have my own mic, I can do it that way as well. That's what people do. So again, you move your your um, uh, stuff around that is that you want to show. Uh, get that own position and get ready. You want to do a recording stop and start. Here are the buttons to do so. Once you do that, you want to do a test to make sure it's running. I'm going to go here and you can do show recordings. And in fact, here are some of the recordings. And you can actually see my recording right here is actually getting bigger and bigger because we're recording live. That's why you want to have things not, not uh, running for it. Again, the idea here is to give you this open source free software, install it on your, your, your PC, your computer, your Mac, your Linux box, whatever you want to do. Have your webcam. You've got to have a webcam and a mic. Normally webcams, good high defs will come with a mic and that should be good enough. And then you can use this to compose. You can add sources. Um, and you way, way you add sources, you can add a display capture here and, excuse me, <laughs> and so you can actually see here's here's a display and I can move that up Let's see. move it down and you can add displays you can add video captures but you basically add and subtract them away here and that's what you see uh, going up here if I get rid of the display capture which I'll do right now um, you say yes now you can only see me um, you're not going to see this, uh, the controls I have, but if I come back and what I'm actually doing is doing a plus sign in the sources, I'm adding a display capture saying uh, create a new one and there it is. I can see it, you can't yet, and bam, it's back on. Now it's on top and I've disappeared. Well, what you can do is you can use these arrows right here to move that display capture here down and now I pop up because they're in layers that now the video capture at the top means I'm on top of everything and that's how you can uh, control everything so that pretty much gives you an idea um, again I had to remake this video because I had made part of it talking about the interface when there was none because I could see it on my PC but it wasn't recording so the OBS I'm using OBS to talk about OBS and how to use OBS and that's why you see a picture and a picture and a picture but this is the interface here this is what you should see this is how you do it and you stop and start recordings one other thing before I do forget if you go to the settings you can actually see uh, uh, hotkeys and I use these hotkeys shift R and control R for record it's easy to remember record shift R will start it recording uh, control R will stop it now you ask why do you do that well because if I get this all out of the way and now I can't see it but I need to start recording. All I have to do is go to my keyboard, hit Shift R, and it will start. And then I use Control R, and then it can stop it. Use whatever you want. Um, I think Spacebar works very well too. I really should do a Shift Spacebar, sh Control Spacebar. Um, but uh, you pick what's ever good for you, and that's how you do it. So that's it. I hope this uh, works out for you. If you have any questions, just email me, um, and I will be happy to. Uh, to uh, get you uh, uh, helped 
And if not, if, if for some reason your computer's not working and you can't install it, um, I'm going to uh, bring up something here called Team Viewer. And uh, what you need is go to teamviewer.com and this will get you something that if you have problems I can bring this to I can uh, log on to your machine and therefore uh, take it uh, take control of your machine while you're sitting right in front of it and, and help get what you need out of it so um, I'm gonna see if I can get that up here right now I didn't plan for this uh, and we are recording so we're we've got a lot of CPU cycles on here again if you put too many things up it starts to thrash a little bit but uh, I'm gonna try to bring that up again teamviewer.com the reason you want to have that available is for some reason you can't get this working or you need some help I can hook to your machine give you a call up uh, on the phone and via the phone I can sit there and control your machine and be able to then um, uh, help you out by actually as if I were sitting there with your control drawing at your machine itself so here is in fact uh, the uh, what it looked like so once you get team viewer you're gonna get this you're gonna have a number you have a password all I would need is to have that I could hook up to your machine so install that as well okay hope this helps see you later and any any need any help just email me david at the or david at naturalphilosophy.org I'll be happy to help.